And our next contestant is an online urban sports and culture platform. Please welcome City Legends. Yeah, why am I bringing here a skateboard or longboard? Yeah, Leticia already mentioned. We're going to talk about urban sports and culture, such as skateboarding, or actually longboarding, uh, which I'm doing, uh, without calisthenics, street basketball, uh, yeah, street soccer, uh, kick scootering, BMX, and all sort of emerging upcoming urban sports and culture. And uh, we are City Legends, and we are an urban sports community platform where we also create vibrant, sustainable cities and communities for the free. And yeah, when I was younger, I was a skateboarder and I'm really fanatic about anything about street culture. But now we are with about 10 people who are also about, uh, passionate about urban sports and culture. Uh, our own developers, marketeers, and also experienced senior advisors. And there's also a reason, because there are already 1 billion enthusiasts, actually fans, including 150 million athletes over the whole world. There are 700,000 in the Netherlands. But these athletes, they actually want to have more freedom, and they have limited uh, traditional clubs, limited federation, because they, have, they want to have less structure and more freedom. But through that freedom, they also are, yeah, cities and brands having a really hard time to connect to these communities. And when we'll talk about this uh, market, then we'll talk about a 10 billion market, which is growing quite rapidly, with an annual growth at 50% per year. And to come back to that, why it's then really growing is, once again, back to that freedom. Because nowadays we have, with social media and with gaming, you can go everywhere wherever you want. You can see any content that you want, and you can chat and game whatever you want when, with where, where over the whole world. And there are even now uh, that same freedom which you want to have in social media and gaming. You actually want youngsters want to have the same freedom in the offline world. And there are now even uh, coming up new urban sports such as slacklining, calisthenics, or even urban hockey and cricket. And that's why our cities and brands and even the Olympics are really coming uh, into this market. Uh, but yeah, cities, they're having a really hard time to even reach this group because there are almost no clubs, no federations, and therefore they don't have any insights or any data and th so that they can shape policies and allocate funds. Where our community is really questioning itself, okay, where are, all no, where are all the cool spots, where are the best events, competitions, where is actually all the fun? And brands, they can reach them by running an annoying ads, but they can create a deeper relationship with this community. And therefore, we got a solution, uh, an urban sports community platform where you can explore the world uh, with spots, events, uh, other peers, and can interact with these objects. Uh, but while also you can challenge others uh, and challenge yourself at one vs one battles, tournaments, and a lot of gamification techniques. Actually, a sort of Strava for, for urban, which is also connected to a city dashboard where we get a really valuable data-driven insights where you can shape those policies and make better decisions. And also, it's suitable for sponsorships. We're already working with brands uh, within in-app campaigns, but also to cross other social media platforms, of course, so Snapchat, Instagram, uh, and TikTok. And this is actually just uh, the first phase, and we actually want to build towards actually the urban esports. And that first phase we're now in, where users uh, can perform in those battles, can explore the world and create cool content. And we are now building a coin system where you can have coins where you can buy digital objects, such as AR objects for your avatar, or unlock uh, NFTs and unlock exclusive content. But also when the pl platform gets more mature and the user base grows, the, those user events also become pros. Those pros will perform in tournaments, which all can be broadcasted, maybe on Vodafone Zego. So it's not per se the user who is uh, also only important, but also the whole fan base around it and the brands and cities interacting with these communities. Uh, yeah, how are we actually making money at this moment? Uh, that is actually by selling a city dashboard uh, with a subscription model, annual subscription model, to already 25 cities in Europe, where you can get access to the city dashboard with insights and education and materials. But also now we're working with the coin system for our community, which you also see in a lot of gaming uh, apps. 
and also we're working, working with sponsorships, which will even grow over, over time. But yeah, why 5G? That's actually to summarize it to make a high-end version even of Pokemon Go for Urban. And we already have a small beta version with an AR map, with AR spots and AR avatars, and we want to extend these options. Uh, and we also want to activate uh, youth, inactive youth, but also get youth more active, but also to guide them to the right uh, proper spots. For course, one example here in Eindhoven, we have the Stadhuisplein in front of the city hall. There are a lot of skateboards and beer mixers. Uh, but the, the mayor and also all the people from the government, they actually want that they go to Area 51, the skate park of, of, of Eindhoven, they where they just invested 30 million into it. Um, and, with, and we went and want to guide them to these uh, spots and rewarding be, do be doing so. So I'm rewarding them with uh, yeah, AR objects for the avatar, uh, where you can perform uh, with AR games, or where you can scan a QR code, or do a, perform a certain challenge, where you can get a unique filter also in AR. And there we also need 5G extra for it, for a way bigger, bigger band-wide than with 4G. And while we are doing these activations, we are getting a lot of interesting data about demographics, public space, uh, the engagement, activation effects, and urban planning. All sorts of topics what the cities and policymakers and really need to make those policies and decision making, um, which are lacking now. A uh, few uh, use cases where our, uh, our community already is showing because the app is also since a few weeks, it's live. Um, for example, lights uh, are lacking, or there's a broken uh, equipment, so there's a safety concern. Uh, and we want to know to also integrate those. If you go to a certain spot, get that challenge, you get AR filter, or you get double points for it. What we're also really seeing is that some spots are, becoming really cr uh, are overcrowded, or are some areas where there really is nothing to do over there. So we, really, we have to do something in these areas. We have to interact with it. Yeah, so actually why City Legends? Uh, and that's where we'll work on the SDGs, on health and well-being, uh, to activate youth and to stimulate you with yeah, high-end features in real time and gather these insights. And with these bottom-up insights, we can also yeah, make the voices heard about the community, which are now unheard and are now it's miscommunication. But based on these insights and those voices, we can build yeah, citizen-driven, sustainable cities, yeah, the cities actually of tomorrow, based on youthful input. And at the same time that we do those, uh, build, uh, getting those insights, we also want to educate policymakers in the way of urban sports and culture and how they can work with these communities and get more familiar with it. So yeah, as city legends, uh, we want to make the world even a little bit more uh, legendary. And if you have any questions, the panel, I'm really curious about that. That was it. Fantastic. <laughs> very, very well done. Jury, any questions for city legends? Uh, yeah, a lot of things. So first, now we are making, at this moment, 100% of the revenue um, are coming from the governments or from government municipalities. So we're now working with 25 cities across Europe. Now they are really spreading our wings. So they uh, subscribe to the city dashboard where they pay on average uh, 10,000 till 100,000 per year for one year subscription. And you already have a municipality that pays 100,000 a year. Yeah, we already have more, you know, several 100,000 in revenue per year. And um, yeah, so next, now we are building the coin system, and therefore we will need a, a lot of users to also make that definitely work. And uh, how more users, how more interesting for the brands. And how big is the user group? At this moment, we're now going towards 10,000, and at the end of the year, we want to go to 50,000, and one year actually want to achieve 1 million installs. And then we only gonna really want to have to work on the retention rates because that is the most important. The users will really coming back. Yeah. Nice. What's your biggest challenge in the next year? Biggest challenge is, um, I think, one of, one of the, I think there are three main challenges. Uh, is 
hiring the best talent because the team makes eventually the product and the marketing, getting the funding, additional funding. So we are now working also with an additional uh, second funding round. Uh, so the funding needs also come in time. And then after that is actually a marketing game, B2C marketing game to grow actually as fast as possible. Um, at this moment, there is also no competition. Uh, but we see some things popping up, but uh, yeah, we really want to be in front of them, actually want, really want to be the first mover. Yeah. Thanks. Any other questions from the jury? If you win, what are you going to do with the 5G hub support? With the 5G support? Good question. Uh, no, definitely work on testing with the AR tools, but because we have now already the AR beta version, and we really saw with the 4G that it was a little bit already lagging, and that it was the, the customer experience of the feature was not there yet. So it was working really raw. So together with, I think, the te technicians of the, the 5G app that we really want, want to improve and test uh, the AR features and you know, keep improving until we really get a high level customer experience. Big round of applause for City Legends. Yeah.